the Shannon in the channel. I am Shannon to my right is Lou and Pickles will be appearing here in a minute because she is our star. Um, so today we're doing something a little different. We're going to be talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. back in the day clubbing. Yeah, you know the reason I want to talk about this? Because we were watching a video with Chris Brown, right? And Shannon's like, oh, Chris Brown. Oh, no, I like Chris dance. Brown's dancing. Oh, he can dance. Well, they can. Yeah. Right, am I wrong? Whatever. Am I wrong? Okay, let me tell you the something. The man can dance. Let me straighten you out right now. Oh, God. Oh, there's Pickles. There's Pickles. Let me straighten you out right now. When I was younger and I went to clubs and I'd start dancing, the dance floor would clear out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? Because you can younger, dance. You, you know me now. Because you can dance. You know me now. The dance floor just clear. It's just me on a dance floor by myself. As a matter of fact, it would get to the point sometimes where the whole place would clear out. <laughs> And the cleaning people would come up and go, excuse me, sir, you need to leave? We closed two hours ago. And I'm like, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't want to hear it. I could dance and clear out a whole club. Okay? That's pretty impressive. That is that. People would leave. They're not, they're not, they're like, that's it, we're going home. I'm going home, I'm going to bed. I'm not doing this crap. This man I'm not doing this crap. No, but we're talking about like memories of, of like being younger and, 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 and dancing and going out and the youthfulness that has been gone for quite some time. And then now here we are like in our older years, quite getting quite uh, to the twilight years, um, kind of soon. Listen, I'm middle-aged. You're upper middle aged. But you don't know who comes up with that math. Anyway, because if I'm middle aged, I'm going to live to be 100. I'm middle aged. Old. You're a little upper than middle aged. That's a true story. If I'm middle aged, the math will dictate that I'm going to be live to be about 120. He's a little upper middle aged. I'm I am literally middle aged on the spot. He is a little bit elevated. Going going back, did you say that? Toilet years or the twilight, twilight. years? Twilight. Oh, okay. All right, so. No, now it's the toilet years. No, it's, you know, it's like, where's totally, the toilet? It is I, the I, toilet I, I, years. I'm not sure it's close. Yes. Oh, well, oh gosh, yes. The toilet, it is now the toilet, toilet years. Now you're in the, we're you approaching. Know, where people tell you, now you're, this is the best time of your life. Okay, how who is says that? that? A lot of people say I that. Have you know who says that? Older people. Older people. Oh yeah. And I, oh really? I'm closer to death. How is that better? Okay. Yeah, no, better. no. I'm not in agreement with that. But I'm not in agreement well, with it either. Well, actually, we're I'm not. In, we're side. not in our either. twilight years. We're no. in our just. Uh, we're I'm, in, I'm we're mid. in our crap years. We're in our crap years. Um, because we're not retired. We're in those years where why does this hurt? Oh. Why does this part of my right. body hurt that I didn't even uh, know I had? His it? knees were hurting and my knees were hurting, and. We're okay, like, I, okay, let's 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 get something straight here. I have an itch. My yeah. knees were hurting because I've had two knee surgeries. Your knees were hurting. I don't know where you were that night. So okay, fair I don't know what you were doing. I don't know. But your was, knees no, were hurting. Like not knees. I had like, one knee hurting. Okay, I don't know where you're going with that. playing ball and had knee surgery. My my body just aches like it didn't before. Okay, so I don't know what's going on there. It's called age. Well, that's because God pulled your youth. For right from out of your ass. And and we're not swearing in videos anymore. All right, no. now. Ash? I never swear in videos. You're the one that uses the F bombs. Yeah. I have not used anything. He just used an A word. There's now. nothing wrong with the A word. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about like our youthful days when we would go out clubbing, we'd go out oh, to the bars. Yes. You would have your little click that, hey, Shannon. Let me tell you a story about you. Oh, I like how I was just <laughs> down. No, but let me, let me tell you because I don't want to forget you. this one. I don't want to forget you. this one. And people, Our if sisters. anybody watches, they're probably... Go ahead. Go ahead. It's not, yeah, it's all you. Okay, no, 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 please, please. No! No! no. Please, it's all go. you. Go, go. No, 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 no. Go. I want you to go. No, okay, I said that N word and you didn't like it. Go ahead, tell the story. I want you to go. No, because I actually forgot it. So good, you're up. No, no, I want. I you lost to the go. story, so go ahead. I don't want to be a narcissist. As I you know said. you don't, because you're uh, just do it. Tell your story, because I so, lost mine. True story, and people that hear this will not believe it, but I had a witness, a best friend of mine, witnessed this. So I'm, I'm at the, I'm at this club, and I'm, and this young lady comes up to me, attractive. She was nothing, you know, but you're attractive, and she was like, "Hey, do you want a party?" And I went, "Sure." <laughs> I'm 25, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say, yeah, sure, what do, you, what do you have in mind? She goes, well, you know, she started talking about money, and I'm like, 
Oh, you have to pay for it. So she was a prostitute. She was oh, my age in her oh, 20s. Lovely. And I said to her, right? I said to her, I said, does your mother know what you're doing? Absolutely true story. But I never I'll heard bet it. her life on that and mine I never too. Heard it. So I said, does your mother know what you're doing? She goes, yeah, she's right here. She introduced me to her mother. Oh, God, Chris. Okay? And then I told her. Who did her, you hang out with? And, Where then, did I, you and, go? and then I told her, I said, listen, I, I, I said, okay, look, not interested, sorry. I said, but you're going to have a problem here. And she goes, what's that? I said, you're charging. Most of the women in here are offering it for free. <laughs> so you're going to have a big problem here. I suggest you go somewhere else. That was Riverwatch, wasn't it? That was Riverwatch. I, said, I suggest you go somewhere else. But Riverwatch wasn't full of prostitutes. It was just that no, one lady. No, and I had never no. met one ever before that. In, no, Riverwatch was free. You, you'd buy them a few drinks Dude, and you're well, good to go. Riverwatch is just an area. Well, it's not, it's, it's not obviously a prostitution this ring. this young lady was not very good at business because you don't go up to a, a young guy dressed in a nice suit and everything and offer your services for money when there's three to one ratio of women to men it, it could in be, your age category around you. It could be she had just moved down. From some other well, state. Maybe, maybe she needs to take a business was course. Or she uh, take a business ER. course. Let's something. just get it out of the way. No, we know. are in South Florida. Hookers listen, are everywhere. Listen, down, whatever. Yeah. I don't care. Oh, listen. I, I, you go out on a date, you have to pay for dinner. You have to pay for this. You have to pay for that. You have to pay it's for not this. free. It turn out to, to end to be crap. So, oh, you know, and nothing's free. Nothing well, is free. No, and, and ev well, everything, not just in South Florida. Everything's bloody expensive. Nothing Nowadays. is free anywhere. You so I felt pay. bad for those men that want to take a, a, a lady out for a night on the town because you ain't going You don't to have to feel bad, ladies. Don't feel bad. I'm talking for the men. Why don't you flick the bill every now and then? You don't have to feel well, bad no, for the man. Now, now, this is a first date kind of thing. It's going to cost you, especially if the girl can drink. Oh, it's really? It's going to cost you. You mean drink like you? Why does none of this make sense to me? How about we're in 2024? You, you, where where, you didn't where, hear a word I said. No, hear this. You didn't hear a word I we're said. In 220, we're in 2024 where women are like... 220? We're, we're in 2024 where women are like... We're equals. We, I make money. I make more money than you, even, or whatever. But when we go on a first date, I'm going to go traditional on this. I want you to pay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But I'm a I modern man. I'm no. A, no, let me finish. I'm a modern man. How about you pay for this one? But no. Oh, no, that's not going to work. If you're on your first date, nobody should know what anybody's making salary wise, right? You shouldn't know. So yeah, but don't be so modern, out. so advanced, so modern. But I'm going to well, go traditional when the bill comes. Listen, if I. How about you say, hey, buddy, uh, I got uh, this one. And the guy's going to go, wow, now that's a modern woman right there. I appreciate this. I'll get the next one. Oh, hell no. No, no you're paying for that you're man. You're paying for the next one, you're paying for one after that, you're going to keep paying. On that first but one, I'm a modern one, that man should not let her pay and respect it and say thank yeah, you. Yeah, why not? I bet the man says, and she says, hey, I got this one. Oh, cool, thanks. I'll get the next one. That would be really That, that date's that's over. That's just yeah. creepy. That date's over. I wouldn't want to date you again. Exactly, but, but I'm a modern woman. How modern are you? You work, you make money, like I do. No difference. We're, okay, we're, I don't both, know where this we're, is going. we're in 2024, right? So how about the woman says, "I got this one." Well, who asked you yeah. out? Okay, if the guy asks the girl out and the girl's paying, go f yourself. What if it's the other way around? The guy still has to pay. The, the guy, first day, the guy is always screwed. That's now. just the way it is. Why does the guy have no. to pay if if a woman if she's if she's a traditional person, uh, a woman that says, "I There's believe in tradition." People. Okay, I get it. But if you're if a woman starts talking about all this smack about how oh my career this my career that, I, I my didn't career know this that. is happening okay. until now. Okay. You didn't tell me this until now. The content is coming in now because we do these things. We pull them out of our butts. Okay, well clearly. So um, I, I, whoever I, I, asked the other our person, our relationship. Is pulling crap out of our box. We've been down. doing it for years. It works. Sim I don't know down. how. Sim I don't know how it works. Sim I don't if, even know if it works. Does it work? Cheese and Are you happy? Right now, I want to punch you in the face. Okay. You see, it works. Because you can't listen. It works. Uh, listen I don't know, but when okay. that cat looks at the camera, it's when really wicked. When a guy asks a girl out on a date, yes, the man should have to pay. When a girl asks a guy out on a date, I truly believe no, that the, I'm not no, done. Oh, oh, I'm not going to hear it. I'm going to hear it. Okay, go ahead. If a girl asks a guy out on a date, yes, the woman should pay because she asked him out on a date. It would be nice for the... I'm not done. Cheese yeah, and freaking double rice. 
but mm -hmm. it would be nice on just the first date, the first date, if the guy would offer and the girl should turn him down and say, no, I got this. I asked you out. Does that happen? E here, here's the way it works. A girl will not will not ask a guy out. Of course they, they they'll, don't. No, she, they'll finagle it so they get the, the guy no, to ask them out. No, that is a bunch of BS. No, no there that's are a bunch women of BS. that will ask a guy out. And I'm a modern woman. I think I've so saw there's women. some. You know, back in the eighties, in the eighties, and pay. young people go. Did, did they have bars and stuff in the eighties? Young people, because they, they? they don't yeah, have the concept they don't, of math. Yeah, they, have you no, not and you know what? If, if you're like eighteen, they didn't even have women back then. It was women came later. I don't even yeah, they, they, like, right because now. Uh, back in the eighties was Adam and Eve. Yeah, because young people are really bad with math. So uh, in history, I, I would now, think, you know, I mean, in history. So I, I knew Adam and Eve. I hung out with them. Um, you know, because I'm. You know, it was back in the eighties. I need some Botox three, immediately. I can't do this. It, it was three thousand years ago, back Botox in the eighties, when I was think. young. I need Botox. It'll help me think. This is just a ridiculous conversation. Did you say Botox will help you think? Okay. I'm kidding. I'm being facetious. Yeah, we Everything know Everything yeah. we talk about is ridiculous. This relationship <laughs> is ridiculous. Who's the cat's ridiculous. You You're are ridiculous. dead to me. Okay. Now back to me. Finally. So, I think that they should. If a man asks a woman out. The man should foot the bill. If a woman asks a man out, I think, out of respect, I'm traditional, that the man should offer, but the woman should slam him down. Oh, hell no. What, what, okay. The huh? woman should slam him down? And say, no, thank you. Oh, thank okay. You. Listen, a woman yeah, like that? Please let me finish. Let me let find me a woman like that. Oh, God. That. Please let me finish the conversation. I want a woman like that. The woman should say, no, when I say slam him down, no, I appreciate you offering to pay for the bill. It's on me. You know what 99% oh of them are, finish anything. You know what 99 of them are going to oh go, God. oh, okay, you pay then. Okay, but that's not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what I think. I think that's how it should be. Then. When did you start thinking? Oh, my God. I don't know where this conversation is going anymore. Or I have, or I have it's, it's, it's I've what got it's called. Uh, my opinion. I've got nothing anymore. My opinion. Well, did you not agree with my opinion? I do. Thank you. I, I knew applaud you. you in yes, this I agree. I applaud you. Thank you. That what I don't like is a woman that says, I'm a modern woman. I can ask you out uh, on the okay, day. Well, I can that, do this. But... I can do that. Now, when it comes to pay, I now I'm going to turn traditional and you pay. All right? Wait a minute. I do believe in modern women. I do believe in equality. I believe in all of that. How about you flip the bill on this one? I'll get the next one, right? Oh, this guy, I'm never going out with this guy again. No, he didn't pay. There are certain, there, no, there are certain So what do you do, make $150,000, no, no, no. you're, you're, you're a whatever? Now, now like, we're blowing it up But now you're a woman. Now, now, we're now we're blowing it up our peacocks because we don't know the person's situation, right? That woman or man of course may want to take don't. out that person, but they don't have the money, but they just want to go oh, out because they like the person. can't break down everything, Right. So, no, but there are stipulations to what we're talking about is what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what? Let's, actually, this is turning into no, relationships, No, I'm in right? favor for... Uh, this is turning into relationships, too. What if two people meet? There isn't a lot of money there. Either side, right? Either, Either side. one. Yeah. That could end up being a lifetime relationship. Instead yeah. of judging, saying, oh, you know what? He took me here. I can't believe it. He didn't take me to this fancy place oh, to spend yeah. $500. Fancy, fancy out my boom boom. How about we get to know people first? Yeah, I agree. Right? Get to know each other this first. It could be a lifetime, a lifetime relationship this, instead of this crap that of judging. prestigious yeah, restaurants. It could, it could, you it have to could go be a, a, a life. It could be a life. It could be a It could be a lifetime of hell. I mean, you never know. Hey, you know what? As, as I as I gotten older, and I was still single. As I had gotten older, I had no patience for for nonsense. No, I, I know why I dated one girl. Actually, I I I don't know if dating is. is Correct work. What'd you do? Who, who, what it was a, no, no, I never even did that. Oh, know, okay, okay, I didn't okay, even do that. Okay, okay, okay. So we're on a second date, and it was we were at this club in Fort Lauderdale on Broward Boulevard. You may not know it. it was it was it was a gay club on weekends, but during the week it was mixed. Yeah. It was the coolest place. Totally, it was a two-story place. Sounds cool. Where it had yeah, and and had it was what all was it downstairs. Called? I don't remember. I mean, we're going back a ways here. That so she told. So she told me. She goes, "Yeah, I'm glad. You know, I'm glad I went out with you because it, it, for a Monday." And I went, "Oh yeah, oh, she, oh, she, absolutely." I said to her, "Oh, I already know where this is going. I already know it." I said, "Thank you." 
for giving me your Monday night. Yeah, I, I know where this is going. And then I but told I her, it. and I told her, oh, by the way, the cab is waiting for you. Oh. I told her, the cab is waiting for you. I got you a cab. Because she was money hungry. And not only that, the attitude. No. Oh, well. You're my Monday night? No, how about this? You're not even my Monday night. Because how dare you say that? How disrespectful. And now the other women will go, oh, how, how could you do that to her? No, how can she bring that on me? Hey, you put you're her my in a Monday cab. night. You're my Monday night. Okay, I, put that's her, a I put her in a cab and I sent her home. Now, people would say, no, young people would go, what, you mean a, a Lyft or an Uber? No, we didn't, we didn't have, have those back then. No, 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 we had cabs. We didn't even have cell phones so back then. Cabs. Nor did but we have DVDs. I put her in a cab. I could have just told her to go to hell. No, I actually paid for the cab so that was in advance nice. and sent her in a cab and I said, go find another Monday night. Yeah, I would have probably lit up a firecracker and stuck it under the boom boom and, you know and what, just ladies, lit that shit up. Shoot up. You know, what, ladies, up. You know what, what, ladies, when you say I want to be respected, I agree with you 100%. You should be respected. Respect me. But you don't have a right to be disrespectful. Thank you, Aces. It's a two-way street, man. It's 2024. Two right? way, two way if I boobs, it would be We way. respect each other. It's 2024. Check. People say that every every year. Except when it was 2023, then it would say. Yeah, it. then it was 2023. So anyway, back to where we used to go when we were young. So you would go out in Fort Lauderdale, so would I. I went to a topless place one time. I could have sworn there somebody, somebody looked just like you. Oh, God, really? Did I look good? Did I have big tatas? No, that's why I said look just like you. Oh. If you had big tatas, I wouldn't say that. Oh, yeah. here's a true story about the tatas. I, when I was younger, super freaking cute. You had big tatas? No, I never and had big tatas. shrunk? No. Where there used to be grapes and other raisins? I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead tell them. Well, the grape uh, raisin okay. analogy. Fits. I'm going to go back to myself and let me tell a freaking story. Mm -hmm. So, when I was a youngster, like in my, tw when I just moved down here, I was what, like 20, I was younger. In my 20s. Anywho, we went to a place called September's or... Oh, uh, September's. That was another place. It may have been... I have a September story I too. Not with not... Oh, hold on. Let me just say this. Go. And then we'll go back to you. I have another September story with another celebrity uh, for another time. But go ahead. Finish oh, okay. Story. Now, there was... We had a lot of months... There was, there, it, September's and Riverwatch were basically the two biggies back then. Okay, but your letter. Okay, yeah, finish. Now, finish. It was, there was a we had a couple of restaurants down here that had uh, like months of names. It was September's or um, whatever. It was one of those ones. It was on the intracoastal. Anyway, so when I walked in. I was cute back then. You know, the tiny little thing. And I went in, and they had, um, they were, you were to fill out this little form so you could win a free boob job, right? True story. I, I At September's? I, it was September's or November's, what was it called? September's or... There was no It was November. on the Intracoastal. One of the places. Riverwatch is on the Intracoastal. No, 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 no. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where it was. It was a pretentious place, whatever. It wasn't on the Intracoastal, then it had yesterday's. Yesterday! Yeah. That's what it was. Okay. Yes, See, I know all these places which all I'm not bragging about now. All my troubles seem so far away. Yeah, okay. Wait, hold on. Yesterday. No, 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 no Beatles shit, okay? All my troubles seem so far away. Don't sing. Get, get, get back to your anyway, restaurant so experience. so I thought out a form. <clears throat> Two weeks later, I get a call. I want a free boob job. I'm like, oh my God, this is freaking awesome, right? Now, so I go in, and I'm supposed to be, because I won the, the free boob job, I'm going to be the billboard, on a billboard on a highway, I'm going to be the billboard child for this, this thing that we, uh, this thing that I won. So I go in for a consultation with a surgeon, okay, it has nothing to do with the, 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 the bar that I wanted at, the bar restaurant that I wanted at. It had to do with the facility that was sponsored it. So, so I go in and I, I did what I wanted. I wanted to be a small C. That's lovely. Love it. Loving a small C. Well, he didn't want to try me onto a small C. I, he wanted me to be a double D because I was a poster child because I won this thing. Listen, you could have. I'm not done. I would have been okay if you had done that. No, because I would have been top heavy. I mean, I I, I can't do that. I, I didn't want a double D. I didn't want to be heavy in the. Well, that's a sacrifice you're going to have to make. I made it. Ooh. And long story short, obviously, I mean, hello, I didn't get it, but I was pissed. 
because I was afraid I was going to go under the knife and well, not. Well, you would have. Uh, are you not letting me finish? Unless the guy's going to Because you're the intruding off. into what I'm saying. I wanted to sign off on something. I was afraid because I was the poster child. I was literally the billboard child that was going to be up there in, in a very. Uh, tasteful way. I sent money to Africa. Oh my gosh. Think so of it. You, I you never got famous. to get my boob job because I was afraid to go under the knife because I wanted a small C. I would even go for a full C. And he wanted to make me a double D. So nope, didn't happen. And that would have been a free booba luba. A double D, that's what? Dolly Parton size? No, she's like a triple 15FZK. Oh, uh, yeah, she's on this other, other thing. But thought, she's a lovely lady. I so think she did go. have a reduction. Oh, I, oh, I'm sure she, she did. Martin? What the hell, man? Is this lady? No, this lady's still I like going, she, she's man. She's a kind girl. She's yeah, still she's going. She's a lovely lady. Boy, I mean, I don't oh, like yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dolly Parton was since I was a kid. Yeah, good for her. She's still going. Absolutely, man. She just keeps going, man. That is what you are. Remember Tim Conway? She did a skit with Tim Conway where he was drinking a drink. I think it was Tim Conway. And she was standing there. Well, I don't know. It was on the Carol Burnett show. There was somebody doing her. And he put the Carol Burnett show. And he put the drink on her boob and just sat there. Well, whatever. But I never got. So you want to talk about pretentious people in South Florida? Never got the boob job because I was so afraid. I was offered. I was also afraid to go to I was season. offered a, a you know what enhancement. Yeah. And I said to yeah. the doctor, yeah. I said, listen, I'm going to need a reduction here because this is a big problem that I have to deal with every day. So he then he goes, all right, let me see it. And then he started laughing and walked away. So I don't know what the, I don't know what the hell his problem was. Three times. Don't know what the hell his problem was. I'm going, hey, I thought it was pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, uh, you were talking about something else. You were in our two weeks. I thought I'd sing a little jam. That was Kenny, Kenny Rogers. One, <coughs> one, twice, three times a lady. And uh, his biggest hit with but, Dolly Parton was I written by, stream. Was wit written by Barry Gibb. Yeah, we love Barry. We love us and Barry. So, you know, it would just... Thinking it. back to our youth, and I'm sure people do it. Yeah, we gotta get off that. And, I, and it's, <laughs> no, but you know, I think the problem is this: some people don't anymore. Mm. It's in their past, and don't think about. It. Think about the good times, man. Think about. Oh my God, it doesn't, it doesn't take away from us now. It just gives us memories. We used to. Memories my, I, of had, our youth. I had three girlfriends. We would go downtown Fort Lauderdale, and okay, we, I don't want another nasty crap. No, no, this is not nasty. So we wanted to go home, but we never. We didn't have a car. Oh, we were taking a cab there, right? So we had these, they had these big trolleys downtown. They, they were supposed to stay downtown. The guy was on reefer. It was he was a lovely man. And okay, we don't want to know how this night no, ended. No, we all paid him like I mean it wasn't far from where we were going. And we paid him a few extra bucks, and he took us home in the trolley to our house. It was fantastic. That was All right, my happy everybody, memory. but you know, just want to share some stories. If you want to leave a comment about your youth, things you did, let us. Uh, always curious to know, man, what people have gone through and memories. Memories, memories are awesome. So Bad memories aren't, but good ones are. Right? We hold on to those. Is even though we're getting older and everything hurts. But you know, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. We're having a beer here. I relax. remember having a beer. Relax. I drank Kicking back and talking and Wait, Barbara Streisand, right? Memories. Memories. All yes. alone in the moon. And I'm going to have nightmares from you singing. Na, 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 uh, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like. Thank leave you. a comment. Don't drink and drive. And we appreciate. Drink responsibly at home. <laughs> appreciate your support, yeah, everyone. Thank Take you. care and not always Take hold care. on. Hold on to good memories, man. No matter how many years I in pee. the past they were. They're always worth holding on Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Cheers, Take everyone. Take care.